YouTube, Robot Combat Models here, back with you with another video. And, oh my goodness, <laughs> I don't really know where to start. I just want to say thank you so much for all the attention on the previous video. I never thought I would get that much attention on my first video, so from the bottom of my heart, I really want to thank you. So, um, it's really given me the motivation to, you know, up my game and... Uh, hopefully produce even better content for you all. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's get started with today's models. Okay, so model number one is Kronos. Now you might know Kronos from the new series of BattleBots. I'm not going to give any spoilers away, but um, yeah, it is good to see them competing in BattleBots. They did compete in uh, This Is Fighting Robots, uh, the Chinese combat show. And yeah, they didn't do incredibly well, but uh, it'll be good to see them fighting this year in BattleBots. So this is my model of Kronos. It's um, basically, uh, I think I did quite well here. It's uh, got a little like bit on the bottom here that I can allow it to spin a lot easier. So you can see when I spin it there, it'll start going around a bit like a spinning top kind of thing. Um, and I, I, I try to do the detail on the top as best as I can, and it's it's pretty accurate, I think. Uh, so yeah, that is my model of Kronos. I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so robot number two, we're going to be kicking this off with Smitty. So, um, Smitty, I'm sure some of you will remember from the original Robot Wars. So Smitty competed since Series 3 all the way into Series 7, where I think it reached the heat final. So it's it's got it's got the classic evil eyes on the front. It's got like a lifter gripper on the front here, which I think works quite well. And of course, that's a spinning disc on the back, which doesn't actually work. <laughs> so uh, Smitty has competed into the live events. It's always been quite regularly competing at live events uh, until it got destroyed last year in Cheltenham. So I don't think we're going to be seeing Smitty for a long time. But I did the logo on the top as well. I don't know if I did too well, but I honestly really think the, the eyes turned out very well. So all in all, I'm quite happy with this one. It's quite good. So are we on to robot number three now? This one is probably one which I doubt many of you will know. This one is called Asgard, and it was actually a featherweight made by the same team that made Turbulence and Apocalypse. And I think it was actually kind of like a predecessor to Apocalypse. So this featherweight was inspired by uh, the 2013 version of Thor and it's got a very powerful axe on it. So it definitely looks quite cool. You can see the shape quite closely resembles Thor and it's got the bit at the back, uh, the Series 8 version. So I I'm really happy with how this one turned out. It's got a very powerful front axe on it. It's definitely one of my best. Again, it's the straw which runs through the robot and uh, to the axe, so you can get some really powerful hits. If I demonstrate with Smitty here, you can just hear the noise. But yeah, so looking at Asgard, it's, it's, it's simple. The shape's quite complicated, but the design on it is pretty simple, so I'm happy with the way this one turned out. Okay, robot number four, and this one is um, probably one of the old kind of meme robots from uh, the old series of Robot Wars. This is Robo Chicken, and this is actually made, inspired off the Series 7 version of Robo Chicken. So uh, you can see uh, its face there. Basically it has the axe which comes down. And normally, I think it was like when the axe came down, the lifter came up. Unfortunately, I've not really been able to replicate that, so they kind of work independently from each other. So the lifter comes up and the axe come up independently. But um, yeah, it's got lots of cool designs on it. I think I, I got the designs and the shape uh, done quite well. This one is quite old now. It's over a year old, but um, still definitely holding up. And it is definitely one which I, I like. So yeah, that's Robo Chicken. Definitely one of the funnier robots. Okay, robot number five. And I'm sure lots of you can tell by just looking at this robot. Well, hopefully you can tell by looking at the robot. Um, this is Whiplash. So, um, Whiplash obviously made a name for itself last season in BattleBots, where it got to the semi-finals, I think. Oh, I can't remember who it's, who it was beaten by. I think it was Minotaur. I'm pretty sure it was. But, um, yeah, so this is Whiplash. It was previously Splatter in the older seasons of BattleBots. So it's got the, the lifter spinning disc combo. 
I actually don't have the spinning disc working, but the lifter again works in the same way as I've done all my actual bots. It's another straw which runs through the robot which the lifter is connected to. So it is quite simple, black and red. I attached all the wheels. Um, it is one of my bigger machines, but uh, I think it did turn out quite well. I'm pretty happy with this one. And obviously it's a very popular robot and it'll be cool to see how well it does in the new season of Fasselbots. Right now, on to the sixth robot. This one is Plasma. Now this is probably one which the majority of people won't know, because now and again I do like to do some obscure robots. So this one was actually signed up to compete in RoboGames 2018 in the heavyweight division. Basically it is a drum spinner with, um, yeah, it's just kind of your bog standard drum spinner with the drum on the front, wheel guards protecting the wheels, invertible, that's kind of the way it was. Unfortunately, I don't think it was finished. And um, I think there's either a lightweight or a middleweight version of this robot, and the heavyweight was just going to be a scaled up version of that. But I don't think the heavyweight ever got completed. So what we'll just print this is the middleweight one. So yeah, that is Plasma. Uh, just, just a bog standard drum spinner. Okay then, so we are moving on again to robot number 7 of the day. So this one is called Angry Frog. And some of you might remember this robot from Clashbots, which was a Chinese TV series. Um, yeah, so Angry Frog is actually basically just a reskin of a robot games competitor called Sluggo, which competed, I think it was 2016 or 17. So Angry Frog competed in Clash Bots. It's quite a cool one because it is it is just a bar spinner. You can see the bar on the front, but it had like special Omni wheels, like Shatter has, um, and Sweeney Todd had in Robot Wars. So basically, it allows them to instead of just driving forward and back, they can drive side to side without even turning. So it's it's quite a cool design, and I think I did quite well here. I know the team are competing in. Season 4 of BattleBots with Sidewinder, so hopefully we'll be seeing them quite soon. But I'm pretty happy with the way this design turned out. I actually did originally build this robot as Sluggo, but uh, I've since reskinned it as Angry Frog because they are basically the same robot with just a different paint job. So yeah, that is Angry Frog. And finishing off today, we have uh, our eighth build today, which is Nelly the Elliebot. And just for starters, this one may look a little bit different to some of you, and that is because this is actually based off the featherweight version. Nelly the Ellie Bot was initially built to apply for a Series 9 of Robot Wars, obviously they couldn't build it in time. And last year in 2018 for the King of Bots um, featherweight championship, they built a featherweight one, which uh, looked a lot like this. Uh, so it's got the axe again, it's another straw design which goes through the middle of the robot like that so obviously now they have built the heavyweight robot so it's a case of limpet which I showed last episode all over again basically I build the featherweight the team come up with the heavyweight and then I'm just left there with the featherweight but you know I, I think Nelly's a great robot and uh, obviously they're competing in BattleBots won't give anything away but it's, it's good to see them um, in BattleBots it brought a smile to their face in um, their first fight so yeah, that is Nelly the Elliebot. Then, so thank you very much for watching today's video. Now, if you've got any suggestions for any models you want built, it can be uh, from any robot com combat show ever, uh, just um, leave a comment and hopefully in the next couple of videos I'll build them and hopefully showcase them to you. I'm also planning on doing some fights in the future. Still working out how to, the best way to go about that. So, um, yeah, again, if you'd uh, like to see any robots fighting, uh, please make be sure to let me know. So, again, thank you for all the support on the first video. Uh, it, it means so much to me. So, thank you very much, and I'll see you all in the next one.